Hi, and welcome back to another all access look of the Hackley House. My name's Erin, and today we are in the downstairs guest bedroom of the Hackley House, and we are going to be checking out a space that most visitors don't get to see on their typical tour or their classic tour here at the site. We're gonna be going straight through this door right behind me, but first I wanna tell you a little bit about this room and why this door is important. So this is the guest bedroom. Oftentimes uh, guests would be coming to stay in this room, sometimes for a short period of time or for a long period of time. We know that Mrs. Hackley's mother came to stay in the house and she, uh, stayed for about six months and then she would move on to her other daughter's house in Macosta County. So the door behind us is an ensuite bathroom and most visitors are surprised that the Hackleys had a bathroom inside their house or indoor plumbing. Indoor plumbing was invented in the 1830s and became more common in houses uh, in the 1870s, uh, but it was really reserved for more of the wealthy, uh, not for the everyday or average person. So we're gonna take a look at the bathroom inside. So here's a look at the bathroom today. Today we use this space for storage. Uh, you can see we have a couple of humidifiers off in the corner that helps us uh, keep humidity at a, at a good range in the winter time when uh, there's not a lot of humidity in the air. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of, lots of tile work all the way up to the ceiling where it's even screwed in uh, and all the way down the walls. This uh, tile was not original to the house. Originally, there would have been wood paneling on the walls and on the floor, but as the demands grew for uh, better hygiene, uh, many places or houses or businesses or public places started switching out their wood for uh, white tile or tiling, and that would just be easier to clean and um, kind of the thought was uh, kind of killing those germs early on. So this addition of the tile work was added around 1900. We do have extra tile left in the basement and we hope to restore this room someday soon. Um, this white tile is American encaustic tile uh, made at the American encaustic tile company and that was in Zanesville, Ohio. So we hope to restore this. You'll be able to see uh, some of the holes in the walls and you can see this kind of hanging sconce here. Um, so we believe like the mirror and the sink would have been right in this area. And then you'll be able to see this piping in the floor with the toilet being um, over here. And then the belief is, is that the bathtub sat over in this space. Uh, I'll show you a picture of what bathrooms during this time frame. You'll see that it has the exact same tile, has the kind of the tub, a mirror and sconce and toilet with a high, um, a high tank on it. And this picture uh, represents, you know, these time period bathrooms and what they would have looked like. We're not sure if this downstairs bathroom had a a shower in it or just a bathtub. We know that the second floor bathroom does have a shower, uh, but showers were still more uncommon. The bath was more popular at this time, and if they weren't using a bath, they were still washing up in front of their, in their, bat, in their bedrooms with their uh, basin and water bowl. This room is really beautiful woodwork, uh, just like the rest of the house. Uh, and you'll be able to see that really intricate, beautiful carvings, um, even in this back, back space of the house. Uh, you can see the fish and turtle, and also over in this area, you can see um, there's a swan that's kind of spread out, uh, and then also a woman on this other side. And those are to be told that they are Lita in the swan. So I'm gonna leave that story for another day because it's a little bit disturbing, but feel free to look that up, the Lita and the swan story. And um, so we're not 100% sure, but that's been kind of the theory that's been passed down to us. So take a look at that story on your own. Um, but this door is really neat too. It has a hole 
another closet within within the bathroom. So the space would have been like the linen closet. You would have this door here that might hold towels or washcloths or maybe even uh, linens for the bed for the guest bedroom and a nice place to keep your trunks if you were traveling, uh, hanging hooks here on the wall uh, and a really great place for for a visitor to feel very welcome here at the Hackley House. Um, so this is a, what the bathroom looks like now. We hope to get this restored. It's definitely on our master plan list. Um, and until then, again, we use it as a little bit of storage uh, space for us. I hope you enjoyed this all access look of the downstairs guest bathroom in the Hackley House. Be sure to follow us each Friday night to see another another video in our video series this summer. Uh, we look forward to your visit here at the site and uh, we'll see you soon.